Hey guys, before I start this video, I just want to say I am so happy to tell you all that I have partnered with Cellucor as a brand affiliate. So not only do they bring you the best products on the market, they are also bringing you the best prices on the market. Now if you use me and my discount code TREGG, T-R-E-G-G, -G, into the discount code box at your checkout, you'll get 25% off your entire order and also free shipping. So head over to www.cellucor.com, save yourself some money using my discount code. There's only been one supplement company that I've gone back to consistently throughout my entire fitness journey and it is Cellucor. So I definitely recommend everything they have to offer. And I just wanted to let you guys know that, but now we can get started in the video. So I'll see you guys there. All right guys, it's Sunday afternoon, getting ready to go to the gym. I've got some chest and triceps today. Uh, getting my stuff around though, so I was gonna show you what I'm currently taking supplement wise. I'll set you right here if my camera stays. Um, but what I'm currently taking um, for a post-workout shake is two scoops of Cellucor's Core Performance Whey Protein, the cinnamon swirl flavor. Um, I've tried a bunch of their flavors and cinnamon swirl is my favorite one. Um, that and their core fatty cake batter one. Those are my two favorites, but um, then I also take five grams of creatine Micronized or micronized creatine monohydrate um, You don't need anything more than like five grams a day That's really all you ever need and then about 20 to 30 minutes before I leave for the gym. I'll always take um, three capsules of NO3 just like your basic pump product it kind of gets the blood flowing and whatnot and then I also take um, about a scoop and a half to two scoops of C4. Um, I usually take that once I get to the gym. Um, I'll just take it, um, just take the powder straight and then I'll wash it down with some water. Um, it hits me a little bit quicker and then I don't really have to wait around for my pre-workout to kick in. But about to go to the gym now, got some chest and triceps and I'll see you there. You kidding me right now? Look at this. I'm gonna slam this freaking door. All right, so I gotta get in the passenger seat to get over to my driver's side because some idiot decided to literally park my door closed. Ugh. That is frustrating and it's gross outside. So now I gotta crawl over my seat with nasty shoes just because somebody else sucks a life. Good thing I'm small. Or this would have really sucked. <sighs> I had to do. <sighs> that was way too much effort just to get in my car. It's time to go to the gym though. Alright, guys, so back on the bench press. The last time you saw me do flat bench, I did four sets of three with 225. I hit all four of those sets. So I bumped up the weight for this workout to 235 and I got two of the four sets with 235 in this workout. I think I probably could have gotten all four sets if I wouldn't have kept hitting the rack on my second and third reps. As you see right here, I nicked it a little bit, kind of threw me off, and then on this third rep, I really hit it and got stuck, and that just mentally kind of threw me off, so I dropped the weight to 225 for the last two sets. I felt pretty good working with 225, and I felt very good working with 235 for the first couple reps until I started getting caught on the rack. But I like doing flat bench while I'm cutting. You didn't see me do a lot of flat bench while I was bulking up. My body does not respond well to the flat bench if I'm trying to build a lot of muscle, sorry. And so while I'm cutting, if I want to hold on to the muscle that I've built, I really need to force my body to use the muscle that it has so I go very heavy on the bench press. Now that might not sound very scientific, it might sound like a bunch of bro science, but that has what has worked for me throughout the past couple times I've bulked and I've cut. So everybody's different, everybody responds to training differently, that's just the way my body responds to it best. So after I finished up those four sets of three on the flat bench, I just did a burnout set with 135 for about 20 reps. And then I started getting into some accessory movements. I did some decline hammer strength. I did some cable flies. And then I worked a little bit of triceps there at the end of the workout. But before I end this commentary, I want to ask you guys, 
what'd you think of my new intro? I put a little bit of a new spin on it. I gave it some more edge as I get focused into 2015. What'd you guys think of it? Comment down below if you liked it or if you disliked it. I want to know your guys' opinion on my new intro. And some of the things I do have planned for 2015, for example, in the next week or so, I will be doing a two-minute pull-up challenge. I was challenged by Max Fitness, and I'll also be doing the bodyweight bench press challenge that Rich Piana posted on his YouTube channel. So those are some of the things that I have planned in the near future. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to them. If you guys liked this video, make sure to go thumbs up the video. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure to go hit that red subscribe button. There's a few more clips here. I'm going to play out the rest of these workout clips. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Alright guys, so I'm done working out now. Went to Subway to get a little post-workout meal. What I got was a six inch steak, egg, and cheese on flatbread right here. I'm actually gonna eat this right now. And then I also got a pepperoni platiza. Um, I'll save this for later. Um, have that for like a, um, a, like a snack or something. But um, 890 total calories between these two. 500 for the flatiza, which means the uh, steak, egg, and cheese is 390 calories. But can you eat this? Head back to my room, and I'll see you in the next clip. All right, guys, before I end this video, I just want to give a huge thank you to all of my subscribers, all of my followers, all the way across my social media, whether that be Instagram, my Facebook page, Twitter, even this YouTube channel. I thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunities that I have had over this past year. None of it would have been possible without your guys' support, and it means the world to me. Even though my subscriber numbers might not be at those monumental numbers that some of the people you follow are at, this is a start, this is a beginning, and whether it's 100,000 people that subscribe to my channel, whether it's 240 people that subscribe to my channel, as long as I am able to inspire one of you guys each and every day to be a better version of yourself than yesterday, then I am doing exactly what I'm passionate about. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Thank you guys again so much for following my journey. There is a ton of stuff planned out for 2015, and I am so excited to bring you guys along throughout this journey. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. www.tregfisher.com for online personal training. I will see you guys in the next video.